Right, I'm going to get a hamster. I'm going to do it the right way this time. Because last time I got a hamster, it was out of impulse. I got the pet store cages and I did not know what I was doing. That poor hamster. Eventually, I figured it out. That was a stressful situation to be put in. Because most, most people, hmm, because most people get hamsters incorrectly. They don't take care of them properly. And I do not want to be a person that can't even take care of a hamster. You will probably hear my accent change like five different times because I'm originally from the UK and now I moved up to North America, up, down, down to North America. I moved to North America and my accent is as confused as I am. I do not know what I'm doing here. Anyways, enjoy the video. Enjoy the video. Okay, this is all the stuff I have for my hamster. Starting with the most important, we have bin cage. It's 600 square inches, and a cage is at least supposed to be 450 square inches for a hamster. So I'm exceeding those expectations. People say like bin cages are a cheap option for hamster cages, and like it's not expensive, but I don't think it's cheap because you have to buy the material like the chicken wire and the Ziploc. You have to like get the tools you need to be able to make this which I used, what'd you call it? A drill to like make all the holes for the zip ties. And then I had to buy this special like cutter knife situation so it could cut through like thick plastic. So anyways, and then obviously the bin itself. I don't know, all that just added up and it was not cheap, but it's definitely not expensive. So I think bin cages are a good option. Everyone's saying they cheap and I don't think so. Since the bin cage was used for a previous hamster, I had to clean it. So I just dusted up all the dirt, used fairy liquid, warm water, and then some soap. And I just scrubbed it really well. And I made sure I rinsed it off really well too. Okay, I also have bedding, good old Carefresh. Not cheap, kind of makes sense. Um, I bought two of these 50 liters. So I have 100 liters of paper-based bedding, no like, scents and dyes in it just plain and simple safest option i also have a wheel this is like eight and a half inch wheel um i'm getting a dwarf hamster so that's big enough i also have a sand bath which i think is an essential for hamsters i was looking for like acrylic and glass dishes to use as a sand bath and they were like 20 30 dollars but hops on over to the dollar store and found this for like three dollars i saw this in a section with a bunch of different like trays some were smaller um but i ended up getting the bigger one it was three dollars which is great obviously the sand bath needs sand so i have sand this is just like kids play sand um i got in a big bag that was like five dollars or something what i've done with the sand is i've sieved out all the tiny rocks um, I just use like a kitchen sieve. I don't know if you think that's gross, but anyways, to just get rid of all the tiny rocks, make the sand really fine or whatever. Not too fine, not too dusty. Don't get dusty sand, that's bad for their lungs. And then also what I did is I put it in the oven. I did that to clean it, but mainly because when I bought the big bag of sand, it was like damp inside and it just would not dry even in summertime. So every time I use sand, I have to like put it in the oven to dry off. Most of this stuff, by the way, is from my previous hamster. If that probably makes more sense, why I'm talking in past tense and I don't have a hamster yet. Don't get sand with dyes in it or like calcium sand, which I did once. Anyways, also essentials. We have these water bowls. These are like 25 cents from Ikea. Also, I have this hamster water bottle. I just have Velcro on the back so I can like stick it to the wall of the bin cage. I like giving my hamsters options of both like water dish and water bottle. This is the Full Cheeks brand and it drips. Like every water bottle I've used, it drips, which is kind of annoying. But sometimes if I get it at like the right angle, it doesn't. I have not found like a good water bottle yet that does not drip. Okay, also what I think is an essential is rocks, having rocks in your little hamster's cage. I just pick these up from, you know, places, just wash them down with soap, rinse them off really well, make sure they're nice and clean. And I just have a bunch. They're good to like file, file your hamster's nails, file their nails. 
Okay, so yeah, your hamster should just be walking on them and it will file their nails. I literally practice saying that so much and it's so difficult. I don't know why. Another essential is hideouts. I have this half coconut hideout, which I'm just gonna like shove in the sand bath in case they wanna bathe in privacy like most of us. Um, I also have this coconut hideout, but this one's special because I'm going to put this coconut fiber, coconut soil bedding in it. And it's just gonna be like a nice little different texture and a nice little place to like dig and just have fun. Hamster fun. Um, and then I just have this teepee hideout. Also waiting on this hideout. I looked at like a bunch of different hideouts, but chose this one, seen the best. And it's so cute with the tiny little stairs. Other essentials for hamsters is chews. So I have this little Tupperware of chews. Some of them are left over from my last hamster. <coughs> it smells bad in here Ugh, because of these little greenies. They're like dog chews but they work great for hamsters. These sticks, just little wooden sticks. These hay wood chews, I couldn't find any more, so I just have one left over. Also, I've never used these before, but they're whimsies, whimsies, whatever they are called. These are expensive, so I only got two of them. But yeah, I know those can be used as chews that you can just find in like pet stores. Also like used for dogs or whatever. And then I just have random wooden blocks that hamsters can just chew on or whatever. Also have this chew, I guess, and this one. Also, these, found this at the dollar store. Um, at first I did not know what type of wood this is because I know there is pine and cedar and maybe a few other woods that are bad for your hamster but this after extensive research is birch and to my knowledge birch is okay for hamsters so i'm just gonna use these little, little chews around the cage right another essential for little hamsters is tunnels i have a tunnel loo roll and this one i don't know if i'm gonna use it but it's like a little seesaw thing i also have these like large tunnels which i'm gonna put like under the bedding underground so this used to be like a poster holder container and i just like sawed it sawed it sew it sawed it i cut it um to make it a bit smaller and then put a little window in it so i can like see what my little hamster is doing and then this was just christmas wrapping roll leftovers i don't know and then also put little holes in it so i'm just gonna like shove these under the bedding also this is a larger tunnel that I'm hopefully gonna fit under the bedding, maybe. Yeah, just like a little hideout, a little cave. I have this plant pot, which I'm going to plant a spider plant into it, which are safe for hamsters. As long as it doesn't grow the stalks and the seeds, and then the hamster eats the seeds, because then it's like toxic and they die. So as long as it doesn't get to that, should be fine and i've used spider plants before and it was all fine i have these bendy bridges this is massive then i have four smaller bendy bridges now there's this little platform i got it in like a home sense kind of store it's for a bathroom i don't know what you'd use this in a bathroom for but i'm gonna use it as like a tiny little platform in the cage i also have this it's like an incense candle burner situation got it in a dollar store but is a great hideout i also have these tiny toys for a hamster just have a seesaw and a swing i think that is everything for inside the bin cage i highly doubt i will fit all of this in there so yeah i'm just gonna pick and choose and see what it's best, but I will definitely be having all the essentials in there. So a few more things I just have for my hamster. This like mini bin cage, which I think is so cute. I'm just gonna use it for like when I buy the hamster, when I have to clean the big cage, put it in here, and when I have to take it to the back. Um, inside is just like a little janky <laughs> cardboard hideout. Um, so yeah, this is just like my homemade carrier cage. I also have food. So we have these mealworms, which is a great source of protein for hamsters. I have this seed mix, 
which I personally think is a pretty decent seed mix. And then we have the Full Cheeks Millet. And I also have a scale for my hamster, which my grandma got me. Shout outs to grandma. I think it's pretty important to just like weigh your hamster either like every week or just kind of consistently. Cause if there's like a dramatic weight change, you should probably take it to the vet. And then I have a notebook to just like write down the weight so I can keep track of it. And maybe keep track of like when I clean the cage and stuff. Cause you're not supposed to clean the cage often. And if you do, you're not supposed to like clear out the whole thing. Just like spot cleaning. Then I have like a mini dust pen and brush. Why? I don't know. I literally don't know how people use this to clean the hamster cage. I just like go in there with my bare hands, picking up the poop and stuff like that. That is officially everything I have for my hamster. To sanitize all the wooden accessories, I put them in the oven for like 20, 30 minutes. There's my dog, hi Murphy. So I've set up the cage as much as I can for today. I think it's really important to have the cage completely set up before you get the hamster rather than like buying the hamster and then it's waiting in the little carrier box while you set up the cage, which was what I did last time, which was kind of stressful for me and the hamster. Yeah, this time I'm just making sure the cage is like 100% ready before I get the hamster. So this is the final cage setup. We have at least six inches of bedding so the hamster can borrow. And then I just put like a nice little tunnel here. 
Um, okay, I guess we'll start with the main hideout. I have beef with Amazon. They're not coming in clutch like they usually do. So I ordered a hideout and it was supposed to come five days after I ordered it and that was like 12 days ago. So anyways, I just made this one out of cardboard. I didn't use any glue. I just like slotted it in and stuff. And then inside I just put a chew and then over here we have the rocks, another chew, some food I just scattered, a hideout the sand bath with the coconut hideout and then the bendy bridge over here i put the chunel actually like under the bedding just thought that was a bit cooler and the loo rolls right there we have these birch stumps here millet there the millet's looking a bit rough it's been through stuff it's been in that bag for a while but anyways we have the platform here just with the water bowl on top a whimsy some chews and some mealworms here we have the spider plant and the coconut with the coconut fiber in it we have another bendy bridge kind of more in the shape of a tunnel and then um i just filled in some of the bigger gaps with toilet paper because I don't want their like tiny paws to get stuck in them we have the wheel over here nice big eight inch wheel another bendy bridge that i'm just using as like a little wall so the sand bath doesn't like slide this way into the wheel we have this tiny hideout i just filled with food and some more millet over here the other water bottle was dripping way too much so while i'm at the pet store getting the hamster i am gonna buy another one and hopefully that one doesn't drip back of the cage we have this tunnel going right down it that is pretty much the entire cage the bin cage is just gonna go under my desk and over here we have all the extra hamster stuff stuff i'm not using are just extra substrate here we have my carrier cage that i just put some bedding in to make it a bit more cozy and all the food here i don't think i'm gonna use this chew i don't know i don't want them to chew this so i might just dump it yeah we have all the food and chews in here and just little things like that so i know buying a hamster at pet store isn't the most ideal but there's no hamsters to adopt and stuff near me or no like Russian dwarf hamsters. And that's what this cage setup is for. Cause I know Roboroskis need more sand and Sarians just need a bigger wheel, bigger hideouts and stuff like that. So this setup is for a Russian dwarf hamster and there's none of those near me to adopt. So I'm just gonna go save it from a pet store instead. Right, going off to the pet store to get a hamster, finally. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the cage very slowly. It seems a bit stressed out and scared, as I can imagine it would be.
Well, that was Nyla, my new hamster. She's really chill. No, she's not chill. She's that's a lie. She's not like scared of me, but she's not the most friendly. So I'm gonna try and tame her. I was unsuccessful with the last hamster, so hopefully this time I can do it. Obviously, my hamster care is not as extravagant as like all of these cages and stuff like that, but I'm trying my best as we should all. If you have a hamster or get a hamster, I do recommend these YouTube channels. They help me out a lot. So yeah, that's pretty much it, isn't it? Yeah.